Hello everybody and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Today we have a very wonderful subject which a lot of people can use really well. We're going to talk about neck pain, back pain, back of the leg pain and also when you have a lot of water in your body as well as as arthritis so that's so many projects that we can all put in depth four which is one cycle of energy so first i would like to show you the flow pattern that we're going to be working on which is the bladder flow and that will then show you why it helps so many projects and as you can see here the bladder flow starts right underneath the eye then goes over the top of the head down the neck down the back in three lines through the buttocks down the back of the leg and to the little toe so you see whether you have neck pain or back pain or hip pain the bladder flow is really gonna help you so let's start by placing our hands on the middle of the neck and then feel which one feels tighter to you tighter means that maybe there's a tight muscle or it may actually feel empty or full if there's any congestion there and you can do this by placing your hands there and then combing your fingers back like this and just just taking a nice observation and intake of what's going on in your neck and then leave your hand on the one that feels tighter to you actually we're going to move it over to the other side so if this one feels tighter then place your opposite hand there or you can go around like this whatever feels comfortable for you and we're going to place the other hand on the sits bone and while you're finding your sits bone i'm going to just show you to make sure that there's no question on where the sits bone is so the sits bone is located right here it's right at the buttocks and so you can sit on your hand like this or if it's more comfortable you can use the palm of your hand so right now you're holding the middle of your neck sel12 together with the sits bone sel25 and again make yourself comfortable maybe you would like to rest this arm or come around like this and then kind of hang your hand there where your other hand is at the sits bone and just start to feel the breath moving into your body there's nothing we have to do or try to the breath will automatically begin to enter the body as the energy begins to harmonize and how do we feel that the energy is being harmonized you will start to observe a slight pulsation that kind of feels like a heartbeat coming to your fingertips from these safety energy locations and this pulsation is the actual energy moving from the skin surface all the way to the deepest part to the core to the center of our body and that is one of the reasons why the art of jinshin is so dynamic because it works all the way from the surface to the core and then spirals back out so there's all this spiraling going on from surface to core and from core back to surface as well as energy spiraling down the front with the exhale and then up the back with the inhale so we have these cycles going on like this down the front and up to back and from surface to core and core back to surface and that is in the pulsation that you feel so the pulsation feeling the pulsation is really an awareness because it's always there but sometimes it may feel different as it goes through different textures and that is this movement of energy so these textures may feel very loud you may feel a throbbing or you may feel it and then it kind of disappearing that is actually another texture that you're feeling for so the art of jinshan is really a meditation where we listen to energy and when you are listening to energy it really brings you in a meditative state there's not really a lot of other thoughts that we can think about when you listen to the energy so let's just take another breath here and also you may feel that these locations are starting to open up as we call it which means that there is less 
congestion um, in the locations. Less congestion, the muscles may get softer, or if it was empty, you may start to just feel it fill up, feel the space. And also you may feel that you're dropping your shoulders, which is always a good thing. And all of this really goes automatically. I'm just bringing your attention to it so that we can be aware of the transformation in the body and be your own testimony, explore this and experience it. And that is always the best way to practice the art of Jin Jin. So let's take another breath here and then let's move our hand from the sits bone. We're going to move it to the outside of the knee, which is at the head of the fibula. And I'm just going to move up a little bit so it's easier for you to see. SEL8 is right here. It's at the head of the fibula and it's on the outside of the knee. So you can use your thumb and place your thumb in there right here or you can place your fingertips. Again, whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm just going to lift it a little bit so you can see it better. And just make sure that you are comfortable. It's very important that you're comfortable at all times so that the energy can move freely. So SEL8 is a wonderful location. It brings the rhythm into our lives and it also helps to connect waist up with waist down. It's the infinity sign, infinity. So waist up and waist down, they get connected. All these locations have a spiritual meaning and a practical meaning. And again, this is for you to explore and also to explore and learn about yourself. So when a location is uh, in need uh, on you, that tells you a little story. The art of Jinshin you can learn a lot about yourself and that's really what the art is about. So again, you can just hold it uh, gently. There's no rubbing or massaging that you need to do and see how the locations open up naturally just by holding it. And again, feeling the pulsation coming from the location into your fingertips. Now you may want to go a little bit lower to a low eight and explore that too. See, just see for yourself where the tightness is um, so that you can stay with that and open it up so that the energy can flow and move through it. So let's take another breath here. Again, take some inventory on what's going on in SEL 12. This flow is also wonderful for depression because it's a descending flow, as we said, it starts here, goes over the top of the head and then moves down the back. So it clears the head. Also great for headaches. Yes, you guessed it. Um, and when we have a headache or a depression and the energy is stuck above the waist, we want to bring it down. And the bladder flow is a beautiful way to do that. So the next location is SEL 16. And I'm going to see if I can just tilt there. SEL 16 is here located right here's the ankle bone and so it's right below the ankle bone and you can see still some of my dancer skills and again you can place your thumb in it or your fingertips whatever feels comfortable for you this is also a beautiful flow doing laying down and then you can just take a figure four like so a figure four which is actually a nice stretch. Um, I just want to remind you that when you practice the first step of a flow, it helps to open up the entire flow pattern. So if some of these locations are not comfortable for you, you can always uh, do just the first step or the first and second step. As long as you're using your jumper cables, applying them to your body, you're practicing the art of Jin Shin. SEL 16 is uh, it's our foundation. It's what we stand on. We are standing on our feet. So give them some love. That's a wonderful thing to do. And again, just getting to know your body, see if there's any congestion and tightness and feeling for the transformation. While you're feeling the pulsation coming up into your fingertips. Let's take another breath here. Very nice. And now the last step 
is we're going to hold the little toe and with the little toe you want to get right inside of it now you can just hold the whole thing again but i would i always like to place my thumb on the inside and maybe you feel some tightness right at the base of the little toe and then i wrap my fingertips around the outside of the little toe and again explore for you is it the tip that's more in need is it the middle of the toe or is it the bottom and if there's any congestion stay with it till it opens up and also if you're practicing today and you're holding it for a few minutes if you go back in tomorrow you probably feel that it feels like a very different little toe and that's so for all the safety energy locations so this is the last step of the bladder flow so i'm just going to review the other side with you just so that you remember how to practice this on yourself and again you can always tune into this video and practice along or you can just remember these four simple steps so place one hand on the middle of the neck sel 12 and the other hand on the sits bone then moving your hand from the sits bone and again you can come around like this or like this Moving your hand from the sits bone to the outside of the knee, SEL8. Then moving your hand to SEL16, which is right here, the outside of the ankle bone. And then to the little toe. So this is a wonderful flow again for headaches, depression, anxiety, back pain, neck pain buttocks pain also very good for sciatica and back of the legs and again i'm mentioning so many projects another very important one that was the request today was arthritic conditions and yes it helps with that too and there again there's no mystery to this when we study these flows and when we study the art of jinchen you can find all the answers there and why it's very very simple and it's very simple to practice on yourself so i would like to end up by holding our index finger and this is a quick hold for the bladder flow it helps uh, depth four the fourth cycle of energy and it helps the kidney and bladder flow so you can hold one side or both choose the finger that again feels comfortable for you and when you're placing your hands you're practicing the art of Jinshin. So I thank you all so much for joining. Keep your hands busy and I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.